Hello everyone, it's Mikhail. So uh, today I'm gonna share with you some uh, tips and tricks with scene nodes. Uh, it's still technical preview, but for some cases I think it works pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna share with you uh, next time several techniques with scene nodes, but let's try from a uh, pretty simple technique. So let's dive into Cinema 4D and learn how it was made. Okay guys, let's create kind of edge to spline effect, uh, actually procedural effect with native Cinema for details and we will use for it uh, scene nodes. First of all, I use my own one nodes, uh, my nodes uh, layout and just uh, placed scene nodes, uh, uh, nodes graph here. So, uh, to begin with, let's create simple geometry. I prefer to use some volume stuff, you know, just to use some uh, standard spheres. Yeah, create a volume builder, place it under volume builder. Okay, maybe change voxel size from 10 to 5. Let's duplicate it several times, kind of. Maybe increase a bit radius. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, geometry uh, you will create, just to uh, education, educational purpose, you know. So we create kind of, yeah. Let's create subdivision smooth to smooth our geometry and let's place placed it uh, under the volume measure. We got this uh, high dense mesh. Let's go to the render setting, change to uh, square layout, kind of, yeah. And let's create a uh, remesher to remesh our geometry. Yeah. Place it here. We got this one. Let's a bit waiting a bit. Yeah, we got this pretty dense mesh. Let's decrease mesh density to 20%, I think. Maybe 15. Uh, maybe 10. Okay, 10 looks promising. So we have this remesh uh, setup. So let's use this remesh setup as a classical object inside scene node. So let's uh, place it here and we immediately get this one. It's a classical object with all parameters, all uh, attributes. It uh, works uh, nice more or less, but uh, of course it's still technical preview and has a lot of limitations. But maybe for some cases, if you want to generate uh, uh, procedural splines, uh, edge to splines especially. I can show you how you can achieve this result. So, let's a bit organize our scene. Okay, let's uh, create, uh, let's connect uh, directly from uh, operator output, open with little arrow and use geometry. We can connect directly. We can connect directly like this, this you know. If we deactivate our original one uh, classical remesher, uh, we still ha have it uh, in viewport. But as we want to convert to edge to spline, we just need to one node. In order to use it, we can create, uh, press C and find edge to line. It's command like this. Let's press it here. And uh, let's connect, open this little arrow and connect our geometry port to geometry and try to connect to scene roots. Uh, we can't do it uh, because we need to geometry operator to connect this geometry node to scene roots. Let's press C again and try to find geo geometry operator, place it here. Let's connect geometry to geometry and uh, operator output to... Uh, to scene roots, yeah? Okay. Nothing much happening, but because we still have our original classical remesh object in viewport, let's hide it and we immediately get edge to spline, you know? So, uh, so far so good. Let's create a more interesting effect. Let's find noise selection. Yeah, place it here. If we uh, try to connect directly to this uh, port, we can connect immediately, you know. And uh, in order to a bit readjust our mesh, let's subdivide it a bit. Find subdivide node, place it here. Okay. So let's for now deactivate each to spline to see how 
our mesh will subdivide. As you see, we got some subdivision here and here. We can control it by noise. Uh, I already shared it on my YouTube tutorial about capsules and knots here, yeah? you know. And as you see, we can control it pretty well. So let's for now keep it like this, okay? Let's find out uh, other one knot. Let's find time knot. Time knot allows us control animation uh, parameters in our viewport. Uh, if you want to control animation our noise selection, we can go to the right click, go to the this node, go to the right click, at end input. We don't need all, we just need a time. Let's find a time and connect scene time to this time. If we press play right now, we see how our noise animated. But as you see, we got some imperfections, kind of, or I don't know, kind of. But because we should also generate uh, point normals over our new geometry. Let's plus C and find normals node. Uh, generate point normals. We can place it, I think, after the subdivision surface. Subdiv subdivide node. Let's find again normals. Okay. Generate point normals and place it here. Sorry, misclicking. Let's connect it. geometry here and connect generate point normals here. Yeah, as you see, we hide it, you know. So, what about subdivide node? Uh, there are several methods by default to cut more color, but without smoothing, if we activate smoothing, we got a bit different effect, I think. Let me check, please. It should be smooth our geometry. Let me. Try again. Yeah, as you see, we smooth our edges kind of. And of course, we can use it for uh, generate abstract uh, geometry, etc. Or delete these polygons or save these polygons. For example, if we uh, came back to one iteration just to tutorial purpose, you know, and place press play, we see how our geometry is, uh, uh, how our polygons animated over the surface. So what next? Uh, we can uh, connect these geometry points to H to spline, you know, and uh, again connect to the geometry operator, and we immediately get this one. We got this really nice animated spline. It's pretty good, you know, but there is a really big drawback because I can use these splines, for example, for my simulation because it's not representing here an object tree uh, uh, we have one option one we can use it but it's not so procedural we uh, if we work only in scene nodes we can control it more or less we can clone and cover with spline etc i try to share with you uh, this technique next time because it's just a quick tip to understand how it works but uh, as we have this geometry, you know, we can, for example, go to the uh, select all nodes, go to the... Uh, let me find, guys, I'm not good at... Uh, go to the edit, I think. Yes, and we can find this comment, current scene state to the classic. If we press, we immediately get this new. Let's deactivate uh, this wire by geometry of Ctrl A, Shift L to organize our scene. Hide this port, maybe, you know. So, uh, if we deactivate it, you know, we still have splines, you know, but because we got it here, you know, let's delete it. And as you see, we got this uh, generated splines. For me, it works pretty well. Uh, of course, would be great control directly from scene nodes. I hope Maxon will uh, update it in new release, uh, guys. So, and now we can use, for example, most spline like my previous tutorial, create kind of simple, oh, sorry, create kind of spline and use the spline our geometry, yeah. Hide it, you know, go to the spline, go to the object represented by one line and can control it kind of, create something like scanner effect on maybe. I don't know. 
now all uh, change to separate segments and create kind of you know as you see we can create a really interesting looking sci-fi maybe <laughs> effect so uh, i think it's some clear more or less uh, what next uh, one more thing of course we can connect again and get uh original one set up we also can use some additional nodes we can uh, delete by noise for example let's connect directly to the geometry to see our geometry here yeah? so as you see we got something like that so if we press c and find delete not again okay we can delete before subdivide you know kind of connect to geometry yeah and connect to the geometry again yeah as you see we got something like that we can uh, we can subdivide again and create something like that we can control or convert to the splines uh, uh, procedurally and create this one and we can current state to classical scene object you know uh, to continue work with it for example apply dynamics etc you know so it's uh, just a short quick tip with scene notes i'm gonna share with you more this technique if you're interested in i'm also gonna dive into goudini and share maybe my first goudini tutorial very soon just want to a bit uh, relax before it you know so uh, i think uh, that's it uh, i hope you like it guys and uh, if you have some questions feel free to contact me leave a comments ask me uh, i still diving in still not try to understand it more or less uh, so see you very soon bye bye